Safety tip number 13 is the caution to use only lidocaine for tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. Do not use bupivacaine or prilocaine or other local anesthetics. Avoid ad libitum tumescent lidocaine formulation. In other words, don't change the formulation on a hunch. Using these drugs, one should have good, solid pharmacokinetic data based to base the formulation on. So in other words, tumescent lidocaine local anesthesia lasts for hours and hours and hours. We have done studies in which we've uh, given tumescent lidocaine anesthesia and for up to 10 hours done a syringe liposuction, removing samples of uh, subcutaneous fat every two, one to two hours for up to 10 hours without any pain. So that local anesthesia lasts a long time. There's no obvious reason why one would want to use a bupivacaine, for example, instead of lidocaine. Number one, bupivacaine is much more cardiotoxic. And number two, it might not even be necessary. And number three, there's no good data, no good clinical data that shows that bupivacaine is safe for tumescent local anesthesia. So I would avoid that at all costs. Um, there's a, this is a, an example of bupivacaine. It says 0.5% uh, bupivacaine. And I've injected uh, five milliliters of sodium bicarbonate right out of this bottle into here. And if you can see, there's uh, <coughs> precipitate. So the bupivacaine, which is very lipid soluble, and depends on an acidic environment to maintain its solubility in aqueous solution. Uh, as soon as it becomes neutralized with some bicarb, precipitates before your eyes and, and forms this precipitate. After about an hour, you can see this white, chunky stuff lying on the bottom. That's something you don't want to give uh, a patient uh, in tumescent anesthesia. So I'd avoid using propivacaine, ropivacaine, uh, also, uh, it's cardiotoxic and we like to avoid those. Lidocaine is the only thing that I feel is well documented and safe. Some surgeons also use prilocaine for tumescent anesthesia. I think the rationale was that if you use some lidocaine and some prilocaine, uh, that, the do that the mixture would be less toxic because the, they assumed that the toxicity was not additive, but that's fallacious thinking. I think that the two types of amide local anesthesias, uh, any type of amide local anesthesia plus prilocaine, I have, uh, have a risk of cardiotoxicity that can't be ignored. Also, prilocaine does cause methemoglobinemia, and that in and of itself is a, is a danger that can be avoided with lidocaine. Uh, by using lidocaine exclusively. There's no reason for using prilocaine in my mind. So that's uh, an important safety tip. Uh, apparently the, the surgeons in Europe uh, use prilocaine, but I'm not, I don't feel it's safe. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. Thank you for watching this informational video.